Nuclear reactions involve a change in quantities of atoms. The two main types of nuclear reactions are fission and fusion. Fission is the splitting of heavy atoms into light atoms, and fusion is when light atoms are forced to join and form heavy atoms. In both processes, some of the mass from the reactants are converted into energy. The sun carries out fusion reactions, where hydrogen is converted into helium. Uranium is a fissile material. This means it goes through the splitting process of fission easily. How this happens is, a slow-moving neutron is absorbed by the nucleus of a uranium-235 isotope, which becomes unstable and splits apart. So due to this fission process, two daughter nuclei are produced, barium-144 and krypton-89. This reaction also produces gamma radiation and three other neutrons. The mass of the products are less than the reactants. The missing mass is converted into the kinetic energy. If one neutron from the fission reaction causes another uranium-235 to split, then the fission reaction will keep going. This is called a chain reaction. For this to happen, there must be a minimum amount of uranium-30. We call the minimum amount critical mass. So atom bombs use this technology by forcing two fissile materials with masses lower than the critical mass under high pressure, which forms a greater mass than the critical mass, resulting in a huge chain reaction. An example of the fusion process would be when hydrogen and deuterium and tritium collide at high speed to form a helium nucleus, a neutron, and large amounts of energy. This fusion process is the energy source for our sun and stars. Thank you.